What's up everyone, Katja here. Today we're going to do a makeover on this beautiful and very old table. As you can see, this table is very old, it's very dusty, but it's beautiful and it's pretty sturdy. The only issue I see here is that it has a crack right in the middle of the top. Something really cool I noticed about this table is that I can lift the top. Uh, it has these little hinges to connect it to the bottom. I don't know for which purposes is built like this, but I uh, am going to connect it, close it, so it doesn't separate anymore. For cleaning, all you need is a bucket with a really warm water, a towel and crud cutter. I'm going to just spray it with crud cutter and get into it, clean it, uh, rub it, make sure I get rid of all that dust that was collecting there for so many years. As I was cleaning this piece, I had to flip it around and then I noticed that some legs were uh, loose. So we will definitely have to uh, wood some wood glue and clamp it to make it nice again. And then I attached the top to the rest of the piece. Now I'm trying to figure out how I'm uh, permanently going to uh, attach this top to the rest of the piece so it never comes off. So we secured the top, connected it to the bottom. It's not going anywhere, but this piece is so old. Uh, I don't want to replace this top. Uh, as you can see, this there's a little gap here left. Uh, what I'm gonna do, this piece is probably over 100 years old and it shows, and I don't really mind. I love it anyway. I'm going to do it as is, and probably I'm going to uh, gift this piece to somebody uh, I love and I care about. So what I'm going to do now is use this wood filler. This is like Bondo. This is, I think, a copy of Bondo. And I'm going to, it's a heavy duty wood filler. I'm going to fill this in the middle, this crack. And there is one more here. And I will leave all this to dry overnight. It's been 24 hours since we did clamping. We're taking the clamps off and we're going to flip the table and sand it. Now I'm going to spray some shellac on the areas where I sand it to prevent the bleed through. If you're working on a dark wood, wherever you sand it and you remove that uh, varnish that piece had, uh, you're going to have a bleed through, possibly bleed through. So shellac is going to create that layer in between uh, raw wood and chalk paint so you don't have that problem. What is a bleed through? Bleed through is when you get stains coming through your paint, underneath uh, your paint and all over your paint. It can be just a little bit, it can be brownish, it can be reddish, but one thing is for sure, it's ugly and you're going to notice it and nothing will stop it except uh, primer, but with shellac. Primer with shellac or just shellac. It has to be shellac. For my color, I decided to go with Emperor Silk, which is a bright red color. I was deciding, shall I do pink, shall I do blue or a red, but at the end I decided to go bold and we are doing emperor silk. This is going to take two coats. I'm going to apply two coats for solid coverage and let it dry overnight because tomorrow I'm planning to use a wet technique and that requires my paint to be completely dry. And in case you were wondering how we're doing our TikTok videos, we're just doing videos while we're doing videos. So more videos and more videos while we're doing other videos. This is going to take the longest time now getting in all these areas. This table is very unusual and there is a lot of hard to reach places. So this is going to take a little longer than a usual table, but that's fine. We have to do what we have to do. Finishing up the second coat here. I had to flip the table. I'm doing actually a detail work 
and uh, I'm going to let this all dry overnight. Tomorrow I will come back when my uh, paint is completely dry and we are going to have some fun, create some layers. And now we are going to do paint wash. Paint wash is when you add some water into your chalk paint and create a watery paint. Uh, it's practically like a stain, but it's not stain, it's paint. Uh, I'm just going to pour some water into it. I have very little paint left in this can, so I'm going to pour directly water into this. When you're doing a wash, you always want to go top to bottom. I'm going to spray some water all over it now. This is going to help me move this watery paint easier. And I'm grabbing my towel and I'm going to start tapping. I want that faded look. I want to look like aged. There is few ways you can do a paint wash. You can wipe it back and forth to make straight lines or you can simply tap like I'm doing to create a layers. If you feel like you added too much paint, just add some more water and get rid of it. But if you feel like it's too light, then add more some of uh, your watery paint. And now we are going to gold leaf uh, using gold leaf glue and gold leaf sheets. Uh, this is an amazing way to bring your furniture to life. Uh, it will just become totally something different and I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing you have to do is apply gold leaf glue and it looks very milky now. So once it's dry, it will become transparent. When you're applying gold leaf glue, it's important to be uh, precise and don't be messy because wherever you have gold leaf glue that's where your leaf is going to stick while my gold leaf is uh, glue is drying I'm just going to cut some stripes here so I don't waste so much materials this is how gold leaf comes. It's individual sheets and you just grab one and you apply it where you want it. And so we go. Start applying the gold leaf. Now that I have my gold leaf uh, everywhere where I want it to be, now I'm going to use a flat brush and brush all this extra off. And now you just repeat this process everywhere or wherever you want your gold leaf to be. So I'm just going to do section by section, side by side, and just have fun with it. It takes definitely takes some time, but it's so worth it. I 
I like to apply my gold leaf everywhere and then go over with a brush and brush everything off. Uh, but you can really do however you prefer. For me, this is just easier. Once I'm done brushing, then I go and clean my floor. These little pieces that we have left over on the floor, you can save them. You can use them as a filler to fill up areas that you're missing gold leaf, or you can use them for some other projects. And we're done gold leafing. As you can see, this table looks much nicer, prettier, more royal, more character. Uh, it just gives so much to the piece, gold leafing. It gives so much to your furniture. Usually at this point, once I'm done gold leafing, I will just go with clear wax and protect everything, chalk paint and gold leaf. But some of you had told me so many times that you don't like prote protecting gold leaf with uh, clear wax. So for video purposes, I am going to use uh, Anislon clear gloss to protect my gold leaf. I'm only going to use this on my gold leaf areas and it has to be gloss. You cannot use matte finish top coat because it will become dull and you don't want that. You want to keep that shine. So I'm just using a detail brush and I'm going over gold leaf areas. And once that is dry, I'm going to go over with clear wax on chalk painted areas. I don't like my furniture glossy and I don't want to prote protect it with a gloss finish. But gold leaf has to be, uh, you, uh, gloss has to be used for gold leaf. Now to protect this beautiful table, we will use clear wax. And then right after clear wax, I'm going to apply some of black wax to add even more depth and more character to this piece. And I can't wait to do this so I can be all done. Remember one thing, any time you're using decorative wax, you have to apply clear wax first. Clear wax also give depth and more a rich and vibrant color to your chalk paint. Once your wax is on, you always go over with a microfiber or lint-free cloth to remove any extra wax that you always have, at least I always have. And now we're going with black wax. I like to age my corners. Usually that's where I go. It just gives so much character and looks shaded. You need to go to your bed and I sit there. Can I have it back? You're gonna give me some? No space for me? Okay, I'm just gonna be on here on the corner. Okay. Let's share, let's share. Let's share. You're such a good boy. You like it, Blue? You think I'm going, doing a good job? Quality control. This step is totally unnecessary, but if you want more aging, which we already had by doing the wash, 
I just wanted to add extra drama to the piece on the edges and corners. And you can here see clearly the difference between uh, dark wax on the gold leaf and without. So you pick which one you prefer. Sometimes I go with a bright shiny gold and sometimes I want that aged look. And we are done. I really love this table. It turned out so bold and glamorous and this was pretty easy to do. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time. Bye.